Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I do not know if you can hear me. If you could please comment in the box, no audio whatsoever. Um, oh, you can hear me now. Oh, wow. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Sorry about that, folks. For those that couldn't hear me, I've been in YouTube jail. I do apologise to everybody. Um, yeah, I do apologise to everybody. I, um, I'm i very, very sorry. But um, sorry about that audio lash and lapse. And because of that audio lapse, I better do something and put that ad back up. So just bear with me. I don't get paid if I don't put the ad up. And yeah, I don't get paid by pretty much by myself. Um, but hang on, I've got to do the ad. This stream and video is proudly brought to you by what is ZS.com. ZS is coming soon. Uh, we do apologize that the website is currently down, we are currently changing. Um, host provider for the site so until that is done uh, we don't have any hiccup on the site I do apologize and um, that will be rectified very soon but if yeah I'll back on with the show you've seen all the the beginning and end and all that sort of stuff so I'm going back to the other stuff now folks I've done the ad so I get paid so how are you girls hope you are doing well um, did you get my message that I left on your um, on one of your comments, Michelle? I'm just wondering if you got the message. I left you a message on one of your comments. It'll be in your notifications. Um, but yeah, I do apologise, everybody. Um, YouTube, YouTube jail sucks, by the way. Um, what they did, they went through every single one of my videos. It wasn't about this subject. They warned me on this subject, saying not suitable for children, and yet all my videos and streams are marked not suitable for children for bloody stop. So, um, yeah, so I've been in YouTube jail for quite some time, and I got out of YouTube jail. Um, I've still got problems, Michelle, by the way, and it's... Um, I've. They're not doing anything but more than medication at the moment. They're keeping on. They've got. I'm on this new injection um, to help with cholesterol. It's called Repita, and it's a monthly injection. I, I get the nurse to do it. It's too complicated. It's a little bloody machine. Uh, you can stick it on your belly or you can stick it on your arm, whatever. It's just awkward to use. So I just go to the doctor's nurse and I get them to do it. Uh, no, I left a comment today, actually. Yeah, I left a co on one of your comments today. Um, but, yeah, no, I'm getting better, everybody. And um, But this new drug is actually helping quite a fair bit. But I um, just found out the reason why I've been getting all my bloody muscular problems. Yeah, the medication. Another bloody medication been causing all the cramps in my bloody legs and may have actually even been causing um, the heart issue, actually. So, yeah. I'm back, and uh, yeah, finally. But if what I was saying in the silence was because we've got a major problem, and this major problem, it's not just affecting YouTube, it's a, oh, you're, oh cool, Dale, cool. Um, and it's pretty much affecting the whole bloody world. It doesn't, and YouTube is following suit. So is Facebook, so are all the other platforms, except for Elon. <laughs> Elon's about the only one not doing anything about it. Trump should buy YouTube. Really, he should. If Trump bought YouTube, YouTube would return to what it was. It really would. Donald, buy YouTube, for God's sake. Fix it. Save YouTube, you'll get the message across to the whole world, and the whole world will know what's going on. Tell your children to buy bloody YouTube, mate. But 
the thing is, it's sort of we're all being suppressed. Our voices are being suppressed. Why? I'm still trying to work that one out, and I think everybody else is still trying to work out why this um, suppression of free speech. We should be able to talk about what's going on in certain events, like over in a certain country and about a certain thing that I've just been in YouTube jail for. But they went through all my bloody videos, and not just ones that were new. This is going back well before all these so-called new restrictions came in because all these new restrictions should not have any bearance on videos that were previously approved by YouTube. All my videos are marked not suitable for children. That is one thing that I make sure that is on every video I put out, upload, and is on every stream that goes up. And yet they turned around because I was talking about the cannabis protests that everybody knows I'm doing. I'm trying to get it legalized here in Australia for everybody else. I am currently a medical user. I've currently just taken a dose of medication. I won't drive for a few days. But I'm not stupid. I don't do that sort of shit. Uh, sort of, um, I follow the rules. And I know how long it lasts and everything, but I still won't drive that day. If I take it a day, I won't drive that day. And I've always been like that. I do that with all my other medications. So I know the limitation of the medications I'm on. I take them. And, yeah, and my doctors know that I'm very, very anti um, all the, the bad shit about it, like driving whilst using and shit like that. But my videos are all marked not suitable for children. But they flagged one of my last videos about the cannabis protesting and everything like that. They, I got a strike on the interview with Dr. Catalaris one on the night of the election. Because at the end of the election, he made a brief comment about a certain um, needle. And that brief comment got me a strike. It's, he's a politician. It was election night. It's one of the subjects that's spoken about at elections. And it was spoken about, and it should freely be allowed to be aired. There was no false information. There was no medical misinformation like they said it was. And yet, I was barred from streaming because of this. And it's bullshit. It's got to stop. Trump, Donald Trump, I'm not joking. If you, if you don't make president, buy fucking YouTube. You will have more fucking power by giving free speech back to the fucking people than being president, trust me. This is where the real world communicates. It's YouTube, Facebook. We now use these social apps as our communication tool as if we are talking one person to another. And why should they have the fucking right to block us from putting our opinion out there about any subject, about any subject, because it's not right. There is a thing called freedom of speech, and that freedom of speech should be world fucking wide. And it really fucking should. And I'm talking to the United Nations, I'm talking to every fucking country at the moment. But freedom of speech... It's a human fucking right. A human fucking right. We have the right to say anything we fucking want. We have the right to talk about governments. We have the right to talk about any fucking subject to our friends that want to listen to us. And we have that fucking right. And I'm sorry, I'm not reading comments, guys, by the way, because I want to get this across. And we have that fucking legal right. And that legal right has been fucking taken away from us. And it's got to fucking stop. We as the people have the right to have a say. At the moment, none of us live in a democratic country. Not one human on this fucking planet lives in a true democratic fucking thing. If a, a democratic government 
would allow the people to have say on laws, would allow the people to have say on restrictions. An open government should be nothing more than a body that fucking sits there, organise votes, a worldwide fucking vote for this subject, that subject, and make the fucking laws that fucking way. That's a real fucking government. But no, these governments think they have the fucking right to shut us up. They pressure it, YouTube, Facebook, everything, to suppress all the fucking information. So what if fucking people want to talk about certain things? That's our fucking human fucking right. This is a human right. Not a fucking, just a freedom of speech. This is a fucking human right. We have that right to talk about any fucking subject we want. And so what? We're using a platform. Trust me, our subscribers want to fucking hear what we're saying, not what you want us to fucking say for you. And YouTube, open your fucking ears and listen to the fucking people because there's going to be someone smart enough to eventually work out similar YouTube algorithms and open up their own streaming platform that operates on a freedom of fucking speech basis and YouTube will be vanished in a heartbeat. I guarantee you, as soon as that person works out how to fucking do it, it'll be the end of YouTube. And you need to wake up and give us back our fucking freedom of speech. Yeah, you've locked me up for too fucking long, YouTube. So, yeah, I'm fucking really having my fucking say. And you need to fucking realise that this shit has got to fucking stop. We have a legal fucking right to talk to people and you don't have that legal right to fucking stop us from talking because that's what you're doing. You strike us, or I got struck for a fucking video where a politician that I was interviewing mentioned one subject for oh, like not even two, what, 10 seconds maybe? 10 maybe thing, it was under 30 seconds, I know that. And you gave me a fucking strike for interviewing a politician that has the legal right to talk about that fucking subject. That's not fucking right. I couldn't put the, couldn't get across to you. There's no way of contacting fucking YouTube to complain about what you're doing to the fucking people. This is the only way. I'm sorry, guys. Everybody, there's going to be a link in this description to this video to my cannabis protesting channel because if they give me a strike for this video, I'm certainly going to just go over there and stream. So if you want to hear me, I'll be on the cannabis protesting channel. I am in the process of pasting it into the, the description. But, yeah, I've got a lot to say. <laughs> I've been fucking bound up for too fucking long without being able to fucking talk and get rid of my fucking stress. Well, I'm getting rid of my fucking stress, YouTube, and you guess what, YouTube? You are the fucking cause of my fucking stress. Not being able to talk to my fucking friends? You, you block our comments? One of my other channels, guys, I made a comment. I made an honest comment of what I thought about a situation, and, I'm not, and I had that legal right, and I can't comment on that channel anymore. So one of the channels, I think it's happened on two channels now, because everybody knows I've got multiple channels. I just talk about different subjects on different channels. But the thing is, it's sort of, we currently are in a situation where our governments don't really give a shit about us. And we're coming up to an election in Australia, folks. Now, if you're from Australia and listening to me from Australia, when you're watching the video version of this video, of this stream, right, you need to turn around and show this government we're not going to take shit any fucking more. The Labor government, I rang the, I rang the, La the Labor uh, MP, our local MP is a Labor one for the uh, state, and uh, I rang him today, and they didn't even want to know about it, and I actually know this dude. Um, I've spoken with him many times over the years. He used to be an underling, so yeah, I spoke to him many times as an underling. And um, the thing is, he doesn't really want to know about it. They say they're fucking for it, yet we're not seeing any fucking results. And this is wrong. Like, look at Thailand, for God's sake. Over in Thailand, man, you can go to a local fucking market. 
Now, remember, Thailand had the strictest drug laws in, in the world. Look at it now. You can walk into a market and buy a fucking plant. We should be allowed to fucking do that. We should be allowed to do that all over the fucking world. This is a plant given to mankind by God. It's the only plant on the fucking earth that can feed you. And trust me, I've eaten this plant. I've eaten this plant many fucking times. There's way to, ways to cook it. There's ways to get THC. If you don't extract the THC, you cook it with the THC, you get a nice buzz. You remove the THC, you get nothing. But it's still a food, and it's still a very tasty food. You should actually eat a fresh leaf. Over the years, when I was younger, I used to eat leaves. I loved them. It's actually, they're, they're stronger than people realise. And um, the thing is, it sort of, we used to never, we never ever threw our leaf away. We actually ate our leaf. And, um, but the thing is, this has been suppressed. In Australia, this is suppressed, and it's wrong. And look at, look what happened. Everybody thought, oh, yeah, at the last minute, better vote for Labor just, to, just so we can stick with the two-party system. This two-party system in Australia fucking sucks. And it really does. And there's no other fucking word for it. The two-party system in this country is wrong. It should be more independent, set up like the American government. Yeah, have your parties and everything. But it should be about not about parties getting in. This should be about politicians getting in who will believe in subjects. And yes, one subject I'm very fucking adamant about is cannabis. It should be legal. I'm a medical user. And this does nothing but calm you. And trust me, I'm quite calm. This is just me getting my voice out to YouTube at the moment because I'm pissed off with fucking YouTube and everybody knows me. I don't give a fuck. I get my word across. And if they don't fucking like it, tough. my videos are adult rated, so I'm allowed to swear. And the thing is, it, it's, this crap has got to stop. In Australia, the word fuck, you can tell a cop to go and fuck off, and they can't do anything about it because it's in the English, English dictionary. Anything in there, and it was ruled that anything in that English dictionary is a legal word to be used in any subject, any sentence. You can use it any time. And that's been ruled in a court in Australia. So, and because I'm governed under Australian laws, yeah, it goes to show everybody that we, as a people, have been fucking lied to all this fucking time. We really fucking have, and it's fucking wrong. And it's time we started standing up and making sure we bring our fucking members and say, get off your asses and fucking do something. Or your next election, you're not going to be fucking there. So if you're in Australia, ring your fucking local members and say, look, if you don't fix the situations now, especially in your labor, you're not going to be there next election. Tell them, but not just tell them at the next election, fucking vote the cunts out. Vote for the independents, someone you wouldn't fucking normally vote for, but look at their policy, even the, even the cannabis party. Everybody thinks the Cannabis Party is just about getting cannabis legalised. Yes, that's one of our main priorities. But that's a priority. These men are, are just as qualified as the politicians that are in Labor, that are in Liberal, that are in any fucking government. They're just as fucking qualified. The only difference is they have different subject matters. And there's nothing wrong with cannabis. It's most probably the safest fucking painkiller you can take on this planet. It doesn't harm your fucking body compared to the, the dangerous shit they had me on, which I get for fucking free. You don't have to pay $600 for my fucking medication. That's wrong. That really is fucking wrong. And this wrongness has got to stop because this wrongness is going in everything now. This is, they're suppressing our voices. This is the new world order, folks, and if you don't fucking stand up and say it, and there's only one way to say it at the moment, that's legally, but it's not through all these big parties. That's the problem. It's the big parties that are the fucking new order. We've got to get rid of them and bring back the people into government like it was when it first fucking started. And it's wrong that the people are fucking not doing it. 
And like all these people that rubbish Trump, oh my, you're a fucking idiots. For God's sake, look at what he's look at what he did for your fucking country. I'm not an American, but I can tell you, you were far better off under Trump. Far better off under Trump. And you want to know something? Do you want to know why Putin is getting away with this? Because he knows America is piss fucking weak because of Biden. Don't vote fucking Biden back in, you fucking idiots, if you do. But this is the point. Everybody has got to fucking stand up. You, if you don't stand up, and you can't say that, oh, no, I'm just one person. I can't make a difference. You want to, you want to fucking bet? If this one man can do what he has done in his fucking life, i.e., I fucking helped remove the Prime Minister. I was the one that pointed it out to the government what Keaton, well, not Keaton, fucking, um, what was his name? Rudd was doing. I made sure I rung every politician up that I fucking had the phone number to, and I told him, I was pointing it out to him. I said, look, it's even in this video. He said it. And that's when they realised he was the wrong man for the fucking job. And they knew no Australians fucking liked him. So they got rid of him. And it was started off through one man pointing something out. I fixed, like, and I and there's actual written evidence to prove it, that I wrote to the government many years ago, because in the old days, our government used to only offer you, when you're on Centrelink or on a benefit, you only used to be able to borrow $500 a year. Every year, you could borrow it again, but you had to wait 10 extra days. That 10 extra days was saying, okay, you got it on August 1st this year, you couldn't get it to August 11th the next year. Now, if you were using this for car rego, every year it was adding time up. And when I finally got sick of it, I rang the government and it didn't work, so I had to write to the government. And I wrote the right people the, the right letters and sent them all the same letter, pointed out the problem, and bang, before I knew it, they'd had actually changed it to where now you can get two loans a year, up to a certain amount of your benefit per year twice. From, and they take it out, X amount per week, uh, per check out of your benefit and everything like that. I'm the man that changed that shit because I saw her wrong. I, if I can do that shit in my life, you can get up and make these government fucking realise that we're not going to take this shit anymore. And the, and the way to do it is to start at this New South Wales election. Now, if you want cannabis legalised, I'm talking to every fucking Australian out there, if you want cannabis fucking legalised, you need to be standing up at the polling booth, not protesting. You need to be standing up at the booth and be a leaflet man, a touter, handing out, t uh, handing out our brochures, making sure that every fucking Australian gets or every person in New South Wales gets a how to vote card for the Cannabis Party. Because we need someone decent in government. And trust me, I've met, I know Andrew Catalaris. I've spoken with Andrew many times. I've interviewed him many times. He's a very nice guy. Very straight to the point about what he wants and his views. You can't catch him up. Well, I've tried too many times and he... And he responds appropriately, and he's just a normal politician like any other politician. And this is what people don't realise. The politicians that we have are just the same as their politicians, Labor, Liberal, uh, Greens, whatever you want. Greens say that, yeah, they they um, want to legalise cannabis, they, will, they want to fight for it. The Labor Party says that. But where's the fucking proof? Where's the proof when these votes come up in Parliament that, oh, yeah, okay, we'll, we're going to vote it in, everything like that. Where's their votes? I don't fucking see them. Oh, we're getting experts in on cannabis. You're getting medical doctors who know really know fuck all about cannabis because they've never used it in their fucking life and they think they know everything about cannabis because they know about all the cannabinoids and everything, but you know even they can't prove that it can hurt you. It cannot fucking hurt you. There's physical evidence. I was watching a Nug Smasher video, and it's, a high, and it's about the highest THC that they've ever collected and everything like that. And in that video, the guy swigs about 4,000 plus mil, uh, milligrams of cannabis oil, THC. All it did was knock him out and do what cannabis does to you if you take the right dose and... 
and they write dose is enough to actually be the thing. But even if you actually take more than that dose, you have the same effect time. So actually, a, what it is, is actually a waste of your TAC when you do stupid shit like that. Because you only need, need well, I counted out my drops yesterday, and they're 15 drops. I took 15 drops at, um, what time did I take them out? At midnight. I was a bit heady up until about 4 o'clock. I was back to my normal senses at 4 o'clock. And that's all it does. But the good thing about cannabis is not just its pain relief. The headiness is an art, is a side effect. That's that's a more a side effect. The stone that people are getting is a side effect to the cannabis oil. But what the side effect is doing, while it's actually doing that and working on the nerves, it's also working on the brain nerves as well. It's working on all the nerves throughout your body. It's connecting those nerves. And that's what it is. That's what the cannabinoid system is. The cannabinoid system is actually the true connection of your body. It's the true connection of how your body connects. It's how you can control your own body to heal yourself. And with a positive art, and yes, you might not believe me, but it does work. Self-healing can be done. But, and cannabis is actually a key to it. It was why God gave that plant to mankind. He would drop it every night. To man, they could cook with it, they could build from it, they could do everything with manna. The, the, unfortunately, the, church, the Catholic Church has put manna as falling as little white fucking discs. That's because they give you out a little white disc. Does it? it wasn't that. Manna was this plant. Because you can build from it, you can eat it, you can do everything. You can even use it as a medicine if it's treated correctly. You can use it as a medicine. And do you want to know how easy it is? And by the way, do you know what anointing oil really is? It's cannabis oil. It's actually been found in David's temple. David's temple. So to all you Christians out there, you're all idiots. And unfortunately you are because you're not opening your eyes and not looking at the truth. The, the, the word of God says to debate the, the word of God by day and by night. None of you are doing it. You go to church one day a week and you have a listen. Yes, I'm a Christian as well. And I'm a medical user of cannabis. There's nothing wrong with it. There really is absolutely nothing wrong with cannabis. But the thing is, that suppression that mankind is doing to everybody at the moment is currently stopping legalization of this plant to the rest of man in certain countries, and it's wrong. This is a fucking plant. This is the most probably the least dangerous plant. It's less dangerous than fucking alcohol. You put you put two groups of people in a room. Oh, this is a challenge to any government. You put two groups of people in a room and let one group drink to their heart's content you let one group get absolutely stoned off their fucking face, give them games like driving games and everything, and guess what? Those stone drivers are going to be better drivers than the fucking ones that have been drinking fucking alcohol. And this is a proven fact. Other people have actually done it in small groups to prove it. But the thing is, this needs to be done at a government fucking level, where they seriously stick one group of people with alcohol, one group of people, let them get as drunk as skunk, test them on awareness, everything the next morning, uh, test them on their driving skills the next morning, and you will fucking see that those people that had the cannabis the night before are far better than the ones that are hung over, because there's no hangover after a cannabis dose. And those of us who use it for sleep, we're fucking perfectly fine in the morning. It's in our blood and everything. Yeah, I've got to stop my driving because of Australian laws because of it when I'm on the medication. And I don't drive. Sometimes I won't drive for a solid week. But that's because of this. And, but getting it legal in every country, it should be legal in every country. As I said, look at fucking Taiwan. Taiwan used to kill people for even having this. It's the same as, well, well, it's 
wrong that this plan is in this situation. Why? Why? Because someone grows and eats a plant and, yeah, has a good feeling about it. Because if you want to know what cannabis does to the system, headwise, you just want to sit, relax, and enjoy. Alcohol? Yeah, put your fucking hands up, mate. I want to fucking bite you. Come on, mate, let's fight. This is what I mean. That's what it will be like in the room of the alcohol people and the people in the fucking stone room will say, okay, who's going to hit who next? They'll be watching the cunt. Because that's what it is. And sorry for swearing, that one I do apologise for. But they'll be watching the fight and not give a shit. They're not going to get involved. Their best mate could be in the fight and they're just going to sit there and go, I hope he survives. (laughs) And that's what it'd be like. For the really stoned ones, that's the ones that haven't stopped smoking, by the way. And say if you let them go from 6 o'clock at night up to 9 o'clock at night, but I guarantee you the people that have been smoking for those three hours only still have the same amount of smoke because, like, they have a smoke at, say, 6 o'clock and they don't need one until fucking 9 o'clock. Yet the guys on alcohol, oh, God, 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 they've got to keep on drinking to get the same effect, but it's a different effect because this effect kills brain cells. It does many other things to you. Alcohol in reasonable consumption is even good for your health. For two drinks a day, that's it. It's all you should drink. It's all when I do drink. That's all I ever drink is two drinks a day. I never drink any more. I've never, I don't get DUIs because I never drink more than two drinks. Oh, unless I'm at a party at home. Yeah, then I don't give a shit. But the thing is, when you wake up the next day, you're hung over the crap. Yet those same people in the next room that were sitting there on cannabis, watching all the fights in the drunk room, they get up in the morning, oh, I've got to go to work. Clear as a fucking bell. Clear as a bell. Yet we have driving restrictions that in Australia that arrest you a month after you've used it. And it's fucking wrong. And it really is wrong. Because, as I said, this isn't meant to be a part of our body. We have a cannabinoid system. Its only thing is to talk to all the different things that this plant produces. This plant is the only plant on the whole fucking planet that talks to a natural part of our cannabinoid system. And the only other place that it's produced in the human body is in the breast milk your baby receives when you breastfeed your baby. It's natural. A female produces it when lactating. So she is producing cannabinoids when she is lactating. So it's a natural thing for our body. We are meant to consume this plant. It's the same as dogs. Dogs will hunt around in grass for a certain thing. And they go for one certain plant, the one certain type of grass. I forget which one it is that they love. And they don't, because to them, that's a healing thing. And it's if they've got an upset tummy, They'll go and eat this one certain grass. They won't eat any grass. They will go and select one certain grass. And it's because it's a common grass, they know which one to get because they know which one will make them sicker first and it makes them throw up whatever they, they've got in their belly. But their body knows it and they know it naturally. And this is why there's such an attraction, not just thing. It's a physical need for this plant to be in our body. It doesn't matter how you get it in your body, whether you just eat it as a leaf, as a salad, just like that. There's no active ingredients happening because it hasn't been heated and turned into THC. So as, as that, you can eat that plant without that THC happening because it hasn't been processed. And because it hasn't been processed, oh, if you eat a... A flower, unprocessed flower, yeah, you're still going to get a little bit high. You won't get as high as if it's been heated. 
But this is what I mean. So our body is meant to consume this plant, yet we can't. Again, government restriction. This is what I mean. These governments, while ever we have this two-party system and you don't give the, the smaller guys a go, we are still going to have corruption in our governments. And it's wrong. And there is corruption in every level of government. There is every level of government there is corruption. And it's wrong. It is fucking wrong as anything. Look what they did to jo like Friendly Geordies. I'm not saying where that, that come from. But yeah, Friendly Geordies got fired on twice. Because he spoke out. Yeah, and I don't care. I speak out all the fucking time. But I've been in YouTube fucking jail. But again, it's wrong what they're doing to us. This shit that they're doing to us, where we can't talk to our friends, come here and... Doing it, yeah, I know it's legal there, darling, but it's not here. So I'm, someone's got to fight for it here. And it's wrong. That's why I'm using that video, the Thailand video, to point out. Thailand, God, in the old days, when I was a kid, if you went to Thailand and did drugs in Thailand, man, you went to jail forever. You never got out. But even for cannabis. If you went to, got busted for cannabis in Thailand in the old days, you would never have got out of jail. You'd still be in jail now. I don't know if they let all the, uh, let all the um, cannabis uh, dealers out. I don't know if that's happened yet. Um, but I'm still looking into that. But the thing is, when it's legalised, it should be legalised so that everybody out there has that legal right to bloody use and abuse if they want. Because if you're abusing it, guess what? You're only fucking wasting it. You only need so much so often and you can have what you call a high i call pain relief um because i don't feel any pain if i'm on it and i get a better length of time it's not hurting me it's everything i'm getting all the good stuff out of it as well which helps all the vitamins and minerals that it also contains and the thing is it's sort of you need to understand that as a people we have that right to speak. And that right has been removed and it's got to be changed. We have that legal right to talk, to get the message across. And yeah, it sort of... All right, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, okay. So can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm gonna have to make a thumb out of this. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Hello. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. All right, so I'm back. All right, good. All right. Yeah, just found the audio issue. Sorry about that, folks. Went a bit dead there for a minute. But yeah, as I was saying, like, it's wrong that we're currently being put through this shit. We, it really is. The, um, the point of it is that we have that right to get our message across and... It's totally been taken away from us. And it doesn't matter whether you're on Facebook, there's Facebook jail, there's Instagram jail, there's YouTube jail. They're all putting us in jail 
all because of a certain event. And that's what it is. But as I said, YouTube, YouTube is turning around and not just doing it to us and they're doing it to everybody. But what's wrong is they're going through old videos and those old videos are now tantamount to the new restrictions. Those videos were put out long before. They were talking about subjects that we were allowed to talk about. We did have the right of freedom of speech back then. And yeah, they're going through those videos. So I'm warning you, any YouTuber out there, if you have any of those videos where you talk about 9-11 or you talk about certain events, you can't even talk about the event happening in a certain country at the moment. Unless you're a approved YouTuber, uh, they seem to be the only ones that are allowed to talk about it at the moment. But it's all the kiss my asses that are still allowed to stream those subjects, yet we can't, and it's wrong. It sort of, it's bullshit. It really is. We still have that legal right to speak out, and it's our legal right to tell them that they're fucking up. As I said, like my politician that I spoke with today, though I know him and everything, he reckons that they did have a vote, but everything, they, they're not inviting the medical patients up to speak. If they actually invited medical patients up to use cannabis, cannabis would be fucking legal in a heartbeat if they let us get in there and speak. Because they will see that, think we could take our medication in front of them, they can see that we don't fucking change. We are still the same fucking person. And it's wrong that we're being put through what we're being put through. And it really, really is wrong. It's, as I said, free speech is a human fucking right. And I'm, that's what I'm going to change the name to the, the video. Oh, shit, I just named it, sir. And uh, free speech is... Um, bang. Sorry, I'm just typing. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much something that is going wrong in the system. Problem is, it's not, as I said earlier, there's not a country in this fucking world that truly, truly is democratic. A true democratic government would put every major issue up for a vote. Oh, it takes too long, but that's all they should be doing. They should put a vote up for it. They shouldn't be making the laws. It should be us, the people. The people should be making the laws. They said, okay, all right, this is a major issue. We want to know what every Australian says, and uh, the higher percentage will make it to that law. If more Australians say, yes, it should be this, if more Australians say, yes, that's pretty much what a referendum is. But that's how, a vote, that's how a democratic government would work. It would be where if something needed to be changed, if something needed to be changed, they would turn around and say, okay, this is the problem. They put out a public announcement. They say, okay, everybody, yeah, we're going to vote on this major issue. Um, they should have setups for it so that it can happen in an instant i.e. with a couple of days notice or so whatever, and that wouldn't be hard. Or like they could make, they could do one every week because all they need is the booze set up on a thing, the equipment ready to be able to take, be taken in on a thing. And that's all they do. They go on the night before, set it up, and that's it because schools, schools finish on uh, Friday and next morning they're voting booths. A couple of people going, setting up voting booths, and they've got boxes in front of them to take all the votes in. And that's what a true de democratic would be. That would be a true democratic government. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, we've got to make our decisions on it. That's not a democratic government. That is not a democratic government at all. The people have that right to speak. I'm not a communist, but I am a democrat. I, I, I'm all for democracy but we don't have a democratic government. 
the way the governments are set up, they're not democratic. Yeah, we get the right to vote, but we get the right to vote once for them so that they can make all the fucking rules. That's not right. It's the people that should be making all the fucking rules. They should ask us, this is a major issue, we need to look at it. That should be put up into a voting system. And as the voting system goes up and everything like that, then, yeah, everybody votes, goes to their booth or whatever, and there's got to be a way of setting it up so it can't be corrupted. Setting it up so decisions can be made at a majority setup. And that's it. That way laws won't willy-nilly just be changed without things. They wouldn't be all sitting... Because do you know all they really do? They sit in that office. They sit in that centre. They talk about a subject or laugh about a subject and don't really get anything fucking done. They make up all these fucking crap. That, they turn into everything. To their fucking thing. They don't submit it to the people and say, look, do you really want this? They don't give the people a fucking say. And that is fucking wrong. Yes, we, we vote for them to speak for us, but they're not fucking speaking for us. They're not doing what they're supposed to be. They are not doing it. Oh, yeah, it, it needs to be overhauled in every fucking country, Michelle. It needs to be overhauled so the people can make a fucking decision. Like, oh... They're all going to get a shock soon because God is coming back. The, the Bible says that I will come back. Like I, you'll know when it's when it's time for me to come back. And I, he talks about when men become like women. Yeah, straight up. It's a sign of God. God coming then. How many men now can become like well, any man can become like a woman now? That's a that is a sign that the end is very near. So if you're a Christian out there, get ready. Repent for all the mistakes you made. I've had to. I reckon everybody else should do. But yeah, it's not going to stop me from doing what is needed to be done. And that is to fix the system. In Australia, we are currently got an election coming up in the New South Wales state. And it's already been... The Labor government has proven they don't do shit. The Liberal government has proven they don't do shit. Oh, yeah, Labor's going to do all this shit and all this and we're going to do this and we're going to do that. They don't do fucking nothing. I'm a lobbyist, trust me. They don't do nothing. You've got a problem and everything like that. They don't do anything about it. You rarely get to talk to a minister. You have that legal right. Now, you ring a minister's office, you'll be threatened with federal arrest just for ringing up. So it's a bit ridiculous. And like, it doesn't matter what office I ring, as a lobbyist, I ring them all. And I'm getting that message on every single one. This is the first government that's ever did it. You should ring the Parliament House and ask to speak to any minister's office. Listen to the message you get. It's fucking quite bad. That sort of, um, yeah, it's just, it's just absolutely wrong. That, um, yeah, it's just getting worse and worse. And see, they don't want you to stand up and say. But there's only one way to say it. We've got to get rid of the two-party system. We have to. We have to get rid of the two-party system and bring it back to an independent government, how it started. The American government started as separate people. There were no two-party systems in the beginning. Australian government started the same way, the Federation of Australia was all different men from all over the state. There wasn't Labor, there wasn't Liberal. And we need to bring that back. But we do need a party in there that's going to fix one major problem straight away. That's the cannabis issue. Everybody should be allowed to consume this plant. And treated, even children can consume this plant. You take the TAC out, that plant is just as healthy, is just a healthy food for a child. So you've got to turn around and you've got to stand up with your feet. And I'll tell you now, we need hun we need hundreds of volunteers all over New South Wales. So if you're out there and you're a, um, a voter and you want cannabis legalised, I can tell you now, the Labor are going to promise they're going to do it. And they do. Labor promises that they're going to get it legalised. Liberal 
No, they don't give a shit. The Greens say they want it legalised, but I guarantee you if the Greens got in, it wouldn't get it. You put the Cannabis Party in, I guarantee you cannabis will be legalised straight away, and it needs to be. Because for those of you that out there that don't know anything about cannabis, it's a load of shit. That Reefer Madness video is nothing like what you see. You don't see an idiot going on and all this. Um, I've got plenty of videos up on my cannabis protest uh, channel, and you can see I'm just the same person I was. Well, an arrogant asshole anyhow, but I'm still the same. It doesn't change me. Cannabis doesn't change me. It doesn't make any changes to my system. It makes me a lot calmer. And I'm sorry for the... Yeah, first at the beginning of the video to everybody because, yeah, I was pissed off with being in YouTube jail. And um, it's wrong that um, they're doing this to everybody and they're not just doing it to my channel. They're doing it to every channel. Facebook is doing it to people. And they're doing it to businesses and everything. They think they can run the world. The Bohemian Grove. I've spoken about the Bohemian Grove at home. And I don't know if it's been spoken about here, but the Bohemian Grove is some place that you can't go because it's all the world leaders going there and having their secret little, this is how we're going to run the world. But it's not just the world leaders of the governments. This is the world leaders of the industry, the real rulers of the world. And they force governments to do what they want, everything like that. The, um, every now and then there's something new that comes up and stops something from happening and then something new happens and something else happens and that's ridiculous and they want, don't want this because it's going to affect their business. It's the same as why cannabis was originally banned in every country because everybody just followed suit with America but not every country is following suit with the legalisation which is wrong. Because it shouldn't have been criminalised. You can find you could find cannabis on any chemist shelf. You could walk into the chemist in the old days and buy it straight out of the chemist. You could just buy it over the counter at the chemist. You still can, actually, by the way. Um, I can get any of my medications at the chemist, and my medications are cannabis. I'm hoping they put me on a stronger one so I get more sleep. Um, but the thing is, it's sort of the one on on a 20, I think it's 25 milligram one at the moment, and I'm not getting enough sleep. So I need something that's a lot stronger. And, um, but the thing is, it's sort of, it's wrong that they've prohibited it. Yeah, they've prohibited a, a tree that has done nothing to anybody, doesn't do what alcohol does to anybody, and it's bloody ridiculous. And it truly is. But they use things like this to quieten people down, i.e. not to calm them down. They, they use this oppression. Because why should they rule over us? Because that's currently what is happening. They are rulers. They aren't politicians. You look at the what is happening. Okay, we've made this law. You can't do shit. You can't do anything. We made the law. You're not allowed to do it. Even unjust laws that should be undone immediately, i.e. a re cannabis, cannabis should be decriminalised, should be legalised, and everybody in jail should be released that is on a cannabis charge. They should be released from jail straight away. They shouldn't be held, held in fucking prison. This is fucking wrong. They're ruining lives by jailing people. Yeah, fair enough, it was in the past and it was illegal. Yes, but it shouldn't be illegal. It should never have been made illegal. It's a plant that this human body actually needs, and it's wrong. Uh, I thank you for welcoming I mean, everybody at the channel there, <laughs> Michelle. Uh, you're a lifesaver, darling. You really are. But the thing is, it's sort of... Everybody out there is, how would you say, under the wrong impression. You've got to stop listening to all the shit that comes out. Oh, yeah, you go to church. A lot of your learning at church is wrong. And I've got to admit, it really is. Because they're only teach, picking out little sections of the Bible here and there. 
You want to know the only way you want to learn the Bible? Is pick it up, read the fucking thing from cover to cover. And yeah, I swore, so what? There's no sin for swearing, by the way. And um, the, the point is that you have that right to understand, but the only way you're going to understand the Bible is to read the book. Then I've got a tip for you. Then go and get the um, Sumerian texts, get the Anunnaki texts, the Anunnaki tablet texts, and have a read of them. Guess what? They're all the same fucking story. The exact same story. It's all the Old Testament stuff. All the Old Testament. The Old Testament... Genesis was a changed version of the Anunnaki thing. Sumerians was a thing of the Anunnaki. And they took bits of it here, there, and everything. And it's a known fact there's only 66 books of the Bible. Only 66. There's actually far more. There's far more. Some that even mention the Anunnaki. That's why they're banned. So, but see, this is what I mean. You aren't no, there's no, not a person on this planet that lives in a democratic country. I've just given you as an example of how a democratic government should fucking work. They should have no, no job but to organise the votes for the people. That should be a government's job, is out there doing nothing but organising the votes so that something can go to vote before the people. And that should be their job. Nothing else. This is why they get paid the bigger money. They're, so, they're supposed to be there for us. But see, they're not there for us. They're there to rule us. And when a politician thinks he's got a chance, man, you, you've got to see how quickly they change. And man, do they change? They go up the, they go up the ranks. It's like the school bully gets tougher and tougher. It's, sort of, it's wrong. And it really is wrong. A democratic government for the people we elect, they should be the ones made to oversee for our areas a voting system that every person, when there's a major issue or laws to be changed, they should all be put to the people and the people have a legal right to vote on these things. Well, fair enough, is there might be a, might be a four-page list or three-page list of certain laws saying, bang, 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 how long is it going to take an appalling birth extra to run down a list and say, do you approve of this? Do you disapprove of this? It would take you the same amount of time as going, oh, who am I going to fucking vote for? Man, should be more of a question, this is what this we want to do with this law. This is what the result of this law will be. Do you vote yes or no for it? That's what a two, true democratic government is, not this shit that we're currently in. Because you look at the way it is. Thing. Oh, and the old saying, he who's got the gold makes all the rules. And at the moment, that's what it is. Because look at who these people are that are going into politics. A lot of them are all the ones after the gold, i.e. the big politician pay packet, or they've already got the gold. And they're making laws for the rest of the people, which is wrong. The people have a right to vote on these laws. It's the same as there should be a referendum immediately, a new referendum in regard to cannabis in this country, saying it should be legally, federally, all over this country. Everybody that is on a cannabis charge in jail should be released immediately. And I mean, they should be fucking released. And it's wrong that they're in there. If they've done other crimes while they're on there, yeah, let them serve their time for their other crimes. But people in there just on basic cannabis charges should be let out of fucking jail. So many kids out there without their parents because they're in jail with on stupid cannabis fucking laws. And that's wrong. And that's got to stop. We have that fucking right to get up and have our say. And this is what, what I've been trying to do on YouTube. But then YouTube sticks me in fucking jail, saying this is not appropriate for kids and it wasn't even marked for fucking children. Or give me a strike because of the politician from our party that I was talking to at the end of the, end of the night of the election, I had the leader of our party, the leader of the cannabis party was there, and 
one of our members of the party was on the line with me. Next election, I'm going to be try and get as many of them on the line days before. I'm in the process of trying to organise it now. But the thing is, we have a right to be out there and to get our message across. And unfortunately, those of you that want to talk about the other subjects, especially one, I'm going to have to sit back on the back burner um, because I'm not going to be talking about those subjects until after the election because I'm making all the videos on this base. I would like everybody to go over to the Cannabis um, Protester site and subscribe if you could because that is my backup. If anything happens, that's where I'm going to be. And um, because I've got an election coming up and it's me, I need to get the, the voice out. And But this video is all about what happened, why I'm so pissed off with YouTube. And it's, um, yeah, but make sure you get over to the Cannabis Protester site. I will put it in the description, so don't turn the video off. Just wait until it's been edited and give it about 30 minutes and do a refresh after the video and it will appear in the description. And uh, I do apologise to everybody for being in YouTube jail. As I said, they went through every video. I've even I even went through and deleted all the 9-11 stuff. Went through every video and deleted all. Because um, they got me, the, fir the very first strike was on the rocket at the Pentagon, where I had a picture of the rocket. Um, another one was, um, yeah, where I had my say on it and everything like that. That was taken down. And, yeah, it's wrong. If you look at YouTube now, you'll find very little about that subject. And it's wrong. We, as I said, we have that fucking right to get up and have our fucking say. Human speech is a fucking right. Every human on this fucking planet, every fucking Human. Male, female. I'm not going to say the other acronyms. They're fucking stupid. It's he and she. That's it. He and she have a legal right to fucking vote. If you don't like when I say he and she, because if you're a he, you're a he. If you're a she, you're a she. And that's as far as I'm fucking concerned. And I've got no qualms at fucking saying it. And that is my voice. But nothing against the LBGQ thing. I remember in my own family in that group. And I've got friends in that group. So I've got nothing against them, but I'm not going to call them that and this and fucking all that crap. That's fucking stupid. It's a group of fucking little kids trying to make out their big thing and everything and trying to make it legal. That's not right. God made you a man or he made you a fucking woman. Don't like it? Tough fucking titties. Go and talk to God about it because he's the one that fucking made us. And um, the thing is, yeah, thanks, Michelle. All right, I'll wait. I'll check the thing out. Um, do you have my? Did I give you my other email, Michelle? I don't know. Um, yeah, but either way, I'll check all my emails, Michelle. The um, the thing is, everybody, there is a. Um, is it on my public email, Michelle? The Bluebeard one? If it's on the Bluebeard one, I'll know which one to chase it after. Um, but, yeah, the the thing is, folks, it's got to stop. It must stop. And we've got to get the power back to the people like it should have been in the fucking first place. But anyhow, folks, my voice is starting to go. Um, I will be streaming again unless I get a strike. But don't forget to subscribe to the Cannabis Protesters site if you want to be updated, because if I get a strike, I won't be putting videos up all the time or I won't post. If I don't put a video up, I'll stream. Um, but, yeah, I'm still recuperating, so they're not, they're not going to be every day like it used to be, but it will be every few days. But the thing is, if I don't stream, there is actually a reason. <laughs> YouTube jail. Um, and I'm getting sick of being put in fucking YouTube jail. So, yeah, YouTube, one last warning. Remember that someone eventually is going to work out an algorithm similar to it. They're going to have enough money to set up the servers and they're going to put fucking YouTube out of business and we're going to get our free speech. Or Donald, Donald Trump, buy fucking YouTube like Elon bought fucking Twitter and maybe we'll get our freedom of fucking speech back. All right, folks, look, I'm going to say thank you, thank you, Michelle. Hang on, who's there? Let me, sorry, I'm going to go up to use a YouTube thing. 
I can never get it to work. It never comes up for me. But, um, yeah, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Warren. Thank you, Gaming Night. Thank you, John from America. Uh, Warren G, thank you. Who else has been in here? Dale, yeah, good to see you again, mate. Very good to see you. And, yeah, John, not many of us in the room tonight. But the thing is, it's sort of thank you, everybody else that has been watching and is watching this video. I do appreciate it. And, okay, thanks, Michelle. I appreciate that. I'll check that one. Um, and the, the point is, mankind has a right to talk. Mankind has a right to get his voice across to the people. In the old days, we used to stand on street corners and have our say. This is our street corner. YouTube is our street corner, and we have the right to fucking have our say about any fucking subject, YouTube, about any subject we want to talk about. No fucking strikes for if someone mentions a certain subject. That's bullshit. This medical, medical information shit is bullshit. We're talking about what we know, what we think, and we have the right to talk about what we think and what we think is. Trust me, and the ones of us that watch these videos have the understanding to know that when something is shit and when something is the truth. So wait the fuck up, YouTube. And now, folks, thank you very, very much for listening and, uh, yeah, I might sort of go on about this freedom of speech in a, in a video or two. But thank you very much, everybody, for watching and coming along. I do appreciate it. It's good to see you all. And I'm so sorry that I haven't been able to post. I've been trying to put little posts up, but then they stopped my posts. So I couldn't even post. But anyhow, folks, look after yourselves and I'll catch you soon. Bye.